Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Facebook custom audience based off of people who engage with your Facebook page. Of course, this can be handy when you're running ads or if you have a page and you want to retarget people that have engage with your page in some sort of way, get them to take the next step, maybe go to your website, maybe opt in for a lead magnet, maybe buy a product, something to that effect. Uh, so anyway, let's just go straight ahead and get into it. So I'm here in the Facebook Ads Manager and in particular, I'm in the Audiences area. So you can click on the little Business Tools button and go to Audiences and you should land on a page that looks something like this. Then we just wanna go ahead and create an audience and we go with Custom Audience here. Then we go ahead and we select our source. In this case, we're going with Facebook page. I do have other videos on some of these other sources. So if you're interested in other sources, go ahead and you know link in the description or check my, out my channel. But we'll go with Facebook page now and we go with next. And now we go through the steps here. So include people who meet any or all of the following criteria. So you can get kind of real specific if you want to do that or keep it kind of broad. My recommendation typically is to not go too narrow unless you have, you know, millions of people visiting your page or something like that. Like if you get too narrow, your audiences get too small and Facebook's algorithm can't do all their magical tricks and all that type of stuff. So uh, for most small businesses, I recommend broader is better than too narrow. All right, moving on here. So first things first, you got to go ahead and select what page you want to uh, generate this audience based off of. So you can come in here and I'll just select my crazy eye marketing page. And then the next thing we need to do is go ahead and select our event. So if we click open here, we can see a little bit of a definition or a description of what the event means. So everyone who engaged with your page, so this includes people who have visited your page or taken an action on a post or ad, such as reactions, shares, comments, link clicks, or carousel swipes. So that's pretty much anybody that's kind of done something with your page or visited your page, right? They, they write it out right there. So you can imagine this would probably create the largest audience of people because it's anybody that's engaged some sort of way with your page Coming on here, anyone who visited your page, so this time they have to actually land on your Facebook business page. Uh, conversely here, if they see an ad or a post or something like that, they'd be captured in this audience. People who engage with any post or ad, so this is like, you know, page plus post or ad equals engage with your page, right? So this is the, the next group of people that have, you know, engaged with something but didn't quite visit your page. People who clicked any call to action button, so includes people who clicked on a call to action button on your page, such as contact us or shop now. So these are people that have, you know, gone the next step. They've engaged with your page and they've clicked on a button to like visit your website or contact you or send you a message or something like that. So they're like another step down the like funnel of interacting with your business. Up next, we have people who sent a message to your page. So anybody that's engaged with you via Facebook Messenger and then people who saved your page or any posts. So these are people that saw a post or something like that and you know added it to their, their saved items to check back later and stuff like that. So as you can see, there are quite a few options and you can get pretty creative with these audiences. For the sake of this example, I'm just gonna go with everyone who engaged with our page. So again, that's people that have seen an ad or a post or visited the page or clicked on something that I've posted from the page, any type of engagement. So then we have retention here, and this is how long somebody stays in that then in this audience that we're creating here. So the maximum time is 365 days. Of course, the longer somebody's part of this audience and the less they've engaged with you, you know, they'll probably forget about you. Um, so depending on your, your strategy, and I have different videos on retargeting and strategies based around retargeting. So if you're interested in that, uh, link in the description down below. But you know, seven days is a pretty good window for retargeting. Uh, they should hopefully remember us within that seven day time frame. So that's what we'll go with here. Then we have inclusions and exclusions. Again, I recommend not going too narrow with small businesses unless you for somehow have millions of people visiting your page. Otherwise, your audiences are going to get too small. So I recommend not, you know, going too narrow with exclusions. Uh, if you wanted to include more people, um, like if you have two pages for your business or something like that, you could go ahead and include those people by setting up another group of conditions just follow the same type of steps. I'm not gonna do that in this demonstration here. Then we go ahead and name it. So I just say engage with page and then seven days. And then you could go ahead and add an optional description for more details so you can easily identify this audience. We'll go ahead and create an audience now. And so now Facebook's gonna go ahead and create that audience for us and it recommends us setting up a lookalike audience or creating an ad or creating another custom audience. We're actually gonna create an ad here, but I'm gonna hit done for now. And I have other videos on lookalikes if you're interested in that very powerful audience source. I'm just gonna come back over to business tools and go to ads manager now and we'll go ahead and plug this audience into an ad set so you can kind of see that that process here. So I'll go ahead and create a new campaign. 
And now we go with our buying type. We'll go with auction, choose campaign objective. I'm gonna go with conversions here. And then we can go ahead and name our campaign, ad set and ad. So I'm just gonna say demo page engagement for my campaign name. And then I'll name my ad set engaged with page seven days and add, I'll just say add one. All right, create. Now I'm not gonna do anything with these campaign settings here. I have other videos on campaign settings. I wanna get to the ad set level because this is where we go ahead and set up our audiences. So here I can go ahead and select my conversion events and whatever I wanna accomplish. So let's say I'm going after sales funnel blueprint downloads and we come on down here and we wanna get to audiences here. So this is where we can go ahead and select our custom audience that we just created. So you see our engage with page, seven days audience. We can go ahead and select that. Now we're targeting everybody that has engaged with our page in the last seven days. Conversely, if we're trying to target cold traffic, we might exclude people that have already engaged with our page. So we could go ahead and hit this little drop down here and exclude this audience instead of include this audience, right? So it says exclude people who are in at least one of the following and engage with page. So you can use the audience in both places here. You could also get fancier with selecting demographics and behaviors and interests and all that type of stuff. But coming on down here, I wanna show you one other thing. So you saw that I did this show more options and then we can go ahead and do stuff with connections here. So here inside of connections, we can also target people who have engaged with our page or our app. So people who like our page, friends of people who like our page, exclude people who like your page and same type of concept with apps and events, and then we have advanced combination. So there's a few other options down here when you get into connections where you can do stuff with people that you know like your page or don't like your page and stuff like that. So you can select these options if they're relevant to you and who you're trying to target. And that's pretty much it for this video. Again, I have other videos on campaigns and ads and all that type of stuff. So if you need more information, link in the description or check out my channel. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any source of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that and I hope you have a great rest of the day.